The ancient city was named after the goddess of love and beauty, Aphrodite. Aphrodite was renowned for her beauty. Which makes me wonder, did the Aphrodisians create such a beautiful city as a reflection of her? Can you believe that it was the only entrance to the Temple of Aphrodite? It was reconstructed stone by stone, carefully piecing together 85% of the original blocks found at the site. The city was known for the Temple of Aphrodite, which was the heart and soul of the community. Aphrodisians had their own visual interpretation of the goddess, combining her traditional image with the Anatolian goddess of fertility. This cult image of Aphrodite was found elsewhere in the Mediterranean, proving the regional importance of this temple. This theater, which accommodated 8,000 people, was built by Octavian slave Zoilos in honor of Aphrodite and the residents of the city. This incredible pool was part of an urban park that was unmatched at its time. It's known as the Place of Palms. This is the excavation house of Aphrodisias, and I'm here to chat with Bert Smith, the director of excavations. So everything I've seen so far has just been absolutely beautiful, but are there any exciting new projects, new excavations coming? Yeah, we have three big projects underway at the moment. Mm -hmm. One is the restoration of the Civic Basilica and its inscribed facade. That looks onto a big urban park, which we've been excavating mm. and are now restoring uh -huh. and publishing. And our third big project is the excavation of a long stretch of street, which unites several of these monuments. Mm, to connect the new. And it will connect, connect all these exciting things together, the street, the urban park, the basilica, the bars. It will be a new, exciting new visitor route wow. through the site. Great. Where the visitor will be on the ancient level, on, on the street level. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being so welcoming and sharing all of your knowledge with me. It's a great pleasure. Perhaps you would like to take a look at the Sebastian as we as we go out. Oh, absolutely. Let's go then. Yeah, let's do it. The ancient city of Aphrodisias is inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List due to the incredible works of art produced by its famous sculptors. After seeing and understanding the history and spirit of Aphrodisias, you can meet some of the people that lived here by visiting the museum located at the archaeological site. This museum is filled with incredible examples of the spectacular Aphrodisian marble sculptures famed throughout the ancient world. There are statues of gods, incredible reliefs featuring mythologies, elaborately decorated sarcophagi, as well as statues and portraits of the important members of Aphrodisian society. After the discovery of the ancient city, excavations began under the guidance of Kenan Irim. And it's truly him who we have to thank for all of the beauty of Aphrodisias today. Thank you for joining us on this amazing journey and stay tuned to Turkish Museums. Up next, we'll be uncovering the flavors of Aphrodisias.